Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL practical question series. So in this video, we are going to see uh, exactly the same question what we have seen in the video number 4 of this series. However, now we are going to see uh, from a performance point of view. Because exactly the same question we have already seen and we know how to write the query to uh, get the dashboard like whatever I am going to show here in video number 4 in, in detail. But that was not from a performance angle. So now we are going to write a query which is going to perform much better compared to the earlier query. First let's, let us understand what is the expectation. So here is a cricket table which contains information about the teams and the winners. So few team played as a team A and few teams played as a team B. And there is an, another column which contains the information about who won that particular match. So the expectation is we need to write a query which prints the information like how many number of matches played by each team and how many number of matches won and lost by each team. So basically we are just going to write a SQL to print the dashboard. In fact to get this information we have already written uh, two different ways of query which we have already seen in video number 4. So that's the reason I am just reiterating you watch the video number 4 before watching this. Okay. So in fact this query we have already written and I have already explained in video number 4. So basically what we are doing here is that I am writing like three queries. Uh, one to compute the uh, total sum and another uh, subquery to compute the number of matches one. For example, if you see, uh, here is a subquery to compute uh, the total uh, number of matches played by team A. Okay. Same way here is a subquery to compute the total number of matches played by team B. Basically, we are going to uh, take the total sum of these two to get the number of matches played. Same way there is another subquery which computes the number of winner or number of matches won by each team. So this information we are displaying as a third column. Basically we are just going to subtract the total matches and the number of matches won to get the matches lost. In fact if you can see here we are doing the subtractions yeah, here okay in the main query. So this is how we are computing. But the problem of this query is <coughs> To get this information, we are scanning through this table twice. For example, once to get the uh, team A total, again we are reading the same table to get the team B total. Again I am just reading through the table to get the total uh, matches won by each team. Finally I am aggregating all these informations to display the output. Uh, so let us first see the explain plan. So here is again one more way in fact uh, this query and the previous query are exactly the same the only difference is in the previous query that is in the first query I have in fact used the with class and I put all the subquery and I have used that particular part in the main select statement whereas in the uh, second part this is exactly the same the only difference is the entire thing I just used as a subquery you can see here it's exactly the same the only thing is that all these things I have just used as a all the three <coughs> portions I have used as a in a subquery okay uh, in fact I have got a mail from one of the subscriber asking that is this a performance oriented query uh, and that is the reason I am posting this video also obviously this is not the from a performance point of view this is not the best query because just to get this information we are going through the table thrice that is we are scanning through the table thrice first let us see the explain plan so that we'll be able to clearly understand if you can do the explain plan on this query you will clearly see that the table will be going for full table scan thrice okay so once to get the team a total another uh, one more time to get the team b total one more time we are scanning to get the winners total so that is the reason this is going for full table scan thrice uh, can we optimize this query so i would suggest you just pause this video think through the, uh, for a second uh, is it possible to reduce this full table scan or is it possible to write the query just by doing once just by scanning the table once or twice so just think through that in fact it is possible we can write n different ways to achieve the same functionality okay so now what I am going to do I am just going to show you uh, okay before that so here is the uh, explain plan of the second query in fact it's exactly the same that's why you will be able to see that the same table is going for full table scan thrice. So now what I'm going to show I'm just going to show one more way of writing a query to achieve the same functionality but 
this would be much better compared to the earlier two queries and this is not the only way and in fact you can write by many different ways i just want to show you this way so that you will get some idea of how to translate the given uh, data set into an expected result set so that you will be able to think uh, whether is there any uh, other additional ways to achieve the same functionality fine now let us see how to write one more way of query after that we will see how the new query is comparatively better than the previous query okay so here is the uh, table so now what i am going to do i am just going to create two more column so what i am going to do here is that if see again i am saying this is not the only uh, functionality in fact you can even think and write much better queries uh, what I'm going to write is like one more way of achieving the same functionality. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print two more columns saying that if team A is winner, I'm just going to print one or if team B is pr uh, winner or loser, I'm just going to print one or zero against that. So for that what I'm doing, I'm just saying case when team A is winner, then let's say one else zero okay then let us say this is called team a's count same way okay so this will give this will give uh, in case if team a is winner it will give one for example in the first record uh, west end is winner so that is why this is displaying one for example in this record if you see west end is against sri lanka since west end is lost the match we are just printing zero same way let us print for team b also so if team b is winner let us print one otherwise zero let us give an alias like t underscore b so we just got the <coughs> two more additional column anyway now i'm not interested in the winner column so i'm just removing that okay now if you see we have a team a team b and who is uh, and if it is team a winner we are just printing one same way if team b is print, uh, winner we are printing one or zero in one more column so let me just give an alias like a for team a and b for team b yeah now let me make this as my with class d as select star from d yeah so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to convert the entire thing uh, okay let me just select something like this a comma t a b comma t underscore w sorry t underscore b yeah now what i'm going to do i'm just going to convert the format in such a way that the entire information i'll get it in a column wise for example uh, team A and its column followed by team B and its column. Now, like team A and its and team B information are in a single row. For example, this particular record is in a single row. Now, I'm going to convert uh, A and its count followed by B and its count. So, what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to replicate the same record twice. Select row name. Let's let me give R from dual connect by level less than or equal to 2 so it is a cartesian join so what it will do is now there are 14 record if i execute this query it will just display as like a, a 28 record it will just duplicate the record so let me just execute and show you now if you see it is now displaying 28 so i'm just selecting r from here so let me just show you how it is uh, selected if you can see here the first 14 record are with row num 1 so the next 14 records are with row name 2. So it's just an exact replicate copy. So the reason I am replicating is I just want to bring the team A and its count followed by team B and its count. So that is the reason. So now what I am going to do, I am just going to print the entire thing in the same row wise. So for that I am just using the decode. If R is 1 then print A otherwise print B. Okay so let's call this as a team. First, let me execute and show you now if you see here this first part right this part actually we got from the team a side same way the second set from here till here 
till uh, from the row number 15 till last we would have got the team b's name exactly same way i am just going to get the count also instead of a let's see it eb let's call it as count okay so we just got the entire information in a single or two column so anyway i'm not interested in the rest of the column so let me just remove it now we got the entire information that is team a's information and team b information along with this uh, winning uh, number uh, like winning id we can say one or zero in a column wise now it is just a matter of putting a count the moment now in now if you see if you see sum of okay we can okay le let me just make it as a, a, a sub query you know select team comma count from now we have a team and we have a count also now if i say sum of c since i am putting a sum sum will give you how many one because if it is one means it is a one zero means loss so when i give some group by t it will give you the number of matches one same way we can put count of star so this will give us the this will give us the total number of matches played so let me move it here this is like total so sum is nothing but one so now we got the total and the sum now what we can do you just subtract the total and the one so that we will be able to get the number of matches last so i'll put count of star minus sum of c right now we got the total one let's give a meaningful alias here last so this is another way to achieve the same functionality in fact i have used a with class here so i'll show you one more query exactly the same query but instead of with class if you see the exact same part i have used it in the inner query so both are exactly the same there is no difference now let us see the explain plan of this now if you see in the explain plan very clearly it's just going through the full table scan of this table just only once so here is the query what we have seen right so let's see the explain plan of the previous query so in the previous query if you see the table is actually going for full table scan thrice okay the current query what we have written in this case the table is going for full table scan just once in fact in both the queries we are trying to achieve the same functionality in fact exactly the same functionality but the way both the queries are written are completely different in the first query i have used the table thrice basically to get a count of a b and uh, the total number of win uh, the matches won by each team and then i am joining all those things but the same functionality we just achieved using just by going through the table only once you can see here we are just reading through the table only once and with decode functionalities and other <coughs> aggregate functions we are able to achieve all these functionality with a simple query and in fact this is much better obviously right by looking at the explain plan itself we can clearly say here there are two things you need to clearly watch in this explain plan one is like the number of time the table is going for a full table scan another is the cost information okay the overall cost is 6 here the overall cost is 13 right so this clearly indicates that the new query what we have written just now is perf will perform much better compared to the earlier query okay so this is one such classical example to understand how can i write uh, query which can be much better in terms of performance that's the reason i always uh, reiterate you that for any sql problem you try you keep trying you keep writing multiple ways of the sql to achieve the same functionality so that you'll be able to understand which performs better okay i hope you would have some learn something new if yes please please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new future videos interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can drop it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id thanks a lot for watching this video